Hey everybody, Shama32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the fifth episode of season five? I almost said six. Of Red Dwarf. This one is entitled Angels and Demons. Again, I'm conf I'm not confident in that title. Like my head today. I've like gone back and checked the name of the episode and the number multiple times. But my head like my head has not been right. Like Keep getting on and off. I don't know if it's like something with like in like equilibrium type things gone off, but every so often I just go like I feel like this. I'm like this, or I was walking doing some shopping early in my other half, and I felt like all of a sudden just literally like that. Like if you've had, like ever had an operation, like a injection at the dentist and stuff like that, and you come out and you walk along and you feel like like you're aware, but you're just like that. Everything feels like that. That's how I like. I actually feel like it now. But it it just is so weird. So I, my head's all over the place. I probably could take a break, should take a break today, but it's Red Dwarf. I need some Red Dwarf. I want to watch Red Dwarf. I do. Because it's fucking Red Dwarf, isn't it? How could I not want to watch Red Dwarf? Come on. It's, it's just, ah. Now, I the title of the episode, if I've got it right, I think I... I can remember something, but not enough to talk about it or like even say anything about it. You know, like it's just like, I think I know, but it's not quite there enough to be able to say it. It's really fucking annoying. I hate my head's been doing that a lot whilst my head, I've been like this. Really annoying. And I don't know if I touched my eye or something then, but I've just done some, like put some hemp cream on my hands and it's very, got lots of menthol in it. So now my eyes started singing. I can't win. I'm also in lots of fucking pain. Ay, ay, ay. But last week's episode was one of the most iconic Red Dwarf episodes. It was iconic. That shot of Rim, the shots of Rimmer in the red gingham dress with Mr. Flibble or Mr. Flibbles. I also forget if it's Flibble or Flibbles because he said Mr. Flibbles very cross. So I get confused over what the actual name is. And it's just how my reign is today. I don't know why. I really do feel like like a little bit loopy, but I haven't. I've just had standard painkillers. That's it. Literally, paracetamol, ibuprofen. That's all I had. And I've literally just taken them, so they haven't even kicked in yet. So I'm just extra loopy today, it seems. But it was brilliant. Like, you could, like, Rimmer was being extra bratty about Crichton. So he kind of, like, the crew would have been annoyed about him already. Like, he has been really moody and ratty about Crichton. He really was. It was actually quite mean. So like I they the crew were probably kind of like annoyed anyway when they he got they got put in that room. But I love the own but they the fact they got their own back on him at the end. Absolutely. frickin' lootly. I, oh, I it was such a good episode. It was so well done and it They've been showing Chris Barry's talents off so much recently. Like, yeah, he's an annoying shit. Rimmer, but I really do love him. I appreciate him more now I'm older. Like, I still love Lister, but, like, I used to... I liked Rimmer, but he was, like, my least favourite of the crew, but now I don't know. Now I don't know. Like, I've noticed how Cat's not featured as much. Like, he's there, he's, like, the com... They're all comic relief, but you know what I mean? He's not, like, he's just... They don't feature Cat that much at all. I'm noticing. Or not compared to, like, Rister? Rimmer and Lister. But then again, they're the main two. But even Crichton gets more. Like, I'm trying to remember, like, I know he gets some bits in certain episodes, which is including what I think is the next episode. He gets some really good bits, but... Yeah, he doesn't get as much, like, character development as others, I think. At least so far, anyway. But, um... But this episode and next week's episode, and that's the season done. And I believe, I think next season's got five episodes, or five episodes, six episodes, and season after's got eight. I think. I think season seven and eight have got eight episodes. I've got to say, I don't remember much of season eight and eight, or season seven and eight. I remember certain things, like two things, like a character, and then also something to do with Rimmer. But that's about it. I don't really remember much at all. That and Crichton saying, you're lying. 
with folding towels and that. I remember that. But yeah, that's it. I don't know why I'm just thinking of that because like that's multiple seasons ahead, but that's just popped into my head, so I needed to say it. But we are going to get going because I want some Red Dwarf. I need to watch that today to make my head feel better. Although I bet afterwards I'm going to regret it. But it'd be worth it, wouldn't it? If you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. I never get why they've suddenly got red bars on it for this season. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Yeah, if I suddenly go quiet or like look a bit spaced out, it's literally because my head's gone funny again. Trying to see, I am actually actively trying to see bits that I recognise from this week's, this episode. But I can't, there's nothing that looked familiar that I haven't seen yet. Except for, no, oh, actually none. Amazing. Demons and angels. Oh, it's not angels and demons, I got it the wrong way around. But, Calibrator locked and set. Organic infrastructure. are they going to um clone a uh, strawberry? Engage the triplicator. Oh, triplicate it. But yeah, I got the title the wrong way round. It works. What works? Well, we've adapted the matter paddle. Oh, sweet. Taking into account the computations for recalibration, I think we can produce four, perhaps even five strawberries a week. <laughs> hey, that's something. It's better than nothing. History beckons. What? Be famous. They'll build your statue. Oh, okay. He's still here. Can make out of them. I can't believe I got Angels and Demons because it's damn brown, isn't it? I've got that book somewhere. Absolutely. With this little baby running at full pelt, I can't... He's being really, like, snarky. Even more so. Strawberry's incredible. It's so succulent. Try the other one. That's going to be horrible, isn't it? Is that the same? Oh, no, no. How's it different? Bitter. Oh! Kind of tangy. Sir, I Crunchy. Sir, <laughs> tangy. <laughs> Kind of chewy, meaty even. Funny kind of wriggly texture. <laughs> oh, smelly. Oh, that's the gross. The triplicator has extracted all the very best elements out of one duplicate and all the very worst mm. out of the other. So what would happen if we reversed the process? Oh, God, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. That's what I would... Oh, no. Okay, I have a feeling I know what happens now. This is going to be a fun episode. Get me, that's a lot of set piece like explosions. Nice experiment, sparks. guys. What do you do for an encore? Neutron bomb juggling? <laughs> Rude alert. Rude alert. Rude alert. This is not a daffodil. Repeat. This is not a daffodil. Abandoned shit. Shit. <laughs> but you can get the gist of what she just said. Approaching critical mass. We'll have meltdown in less than 15 minutes. You need minutes. to leave now, quick. Uh, uh, Holly, uh, th th those cargo bay doors we talked about earlier. Uh, would you mind opening them, please? <laughs> Holly, the doors, Holly. Manual override. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. Are we gonna... Have we lost Red Dwarf? Coolant systems, containment panels, vacuum shields. Actual chances of we can't lose Red Dwarf. One. trouble is we only have enough fuel for five hours flight. Yeah. I don't think that's going to prove to be a major problem though, How? because we only have oh. enough oxygen for seven minutes. Well, four. Have they only got seven minutes oxygen already on the ship? Well, that doesn't really affect us, does it? Sorry, sir. <laughs> we don't need oxygen. Again, he doesn't care about them two. We ejected their corpses into outer space. He can hear you. Is that the Red Dwarf way? The one in trouble, all in trouble. Yeah. The posse. The boys from the dwarf. If one of us is in a fix, the homeboys band together. That's the yeah. way it is. Have you got anything in writing? <laughs> He's terrible, isn't he? He's got really bad this season with that. If I may interject, sir, in your case, that's not exactly true. He'll run out of battery on that thing. Uh, we have no spares. Uh, in fact, you yourself, sir, will expire in a little under four minutes. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, homeboys, let's posse. <laughs> two objects far too vast to be debris. According to the I think I know. materialized just before the explosion. Can we get in any closer? Enhance maximum. See lots of red dwarf. Demons and angels. 
Of course, the triplicator has made two copies of Red Dwarf. Well, presumably, when I threw the triplicator into reverse, it didn't reverse yeah. the process. It reversed the field of the beam, projecting it out, not in. So instead of copying the it copied the entire ship. Probably including them. Two new Red Dwarfs. One succulent and divine, the other fish bait. Oh, no. In the lab, the triplicated copies had a limited lifespan. Yeah, you need to put them back together. Uh, so there will be a working triplicator on board but, whichever of the ships is the superior. You see, theoretically, wouldn't that run down to too? Reverse the reversal and replicate the original red dwarf by amalgamating the two copies. Okay, yeah, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I love them. I love Crichton's smile like that. He's so funny. Which one have they gone to though? Are this a good or bad? Mr. Rimmer's battery pack. We'll catch you up. Oh god, is this gonna be the good or bad one? I'm so I'm still annoyed that I said angels and demons. Not this is the good one. This is the good one. It's magnificent. I think it was. Like it. I can't believe I said demons and angels and demons, oh, not demons and angels. Get along for that air, man. Mm. That's too white for me. Like that would hurt my eyes. Mm. I'll tell you one thing. A pot noodles the ultimate test. The universe have seen time running backwards. A what is cat doing? Given birth to twins. <laughs> I thought in my entire life I'd taste an edible pot noodle. <laughs> what flavour is that? You do not understand. Come. Oh, uh, so weird seeing cat and them um, and Lister like that. I am part of you, your higher self, your spiritual side. I exist in you as potential. No part of me would ever be seen alive in sandals. Very true. I find clothes a distraction from the pursuit of spiritual and intellectual fulfillment. It's hearing Danny's voice like that is so weird. Philosophy, poetry, music and study. That is how we spend our time. Okay. Oh, he's got a different unlock our full thing on there. In the hey. of humankind. <laughs> what a pair of losers. <laughs> Even he's hating it. Come, soul sibling, let us prepare some refreshments. May your path lead to wisdom, and in wisdom know ye peace. Oh, dear Lord, that's weird. <laughs> okay, that's weird walking. Your mind records everything. Everything you see, hear, every word you read, every Yeah, but mine also deletes it. I swear it deletes Somehow it. Somehow our higher selves have access to that knowledge. Look, I'm Pretty getting cool. feet here. You got the gizmo. Let's scram before the Mad Monk Brothers rope us <laughs> into an evening of philosophical musings and self-flagellation. Oh, nope, nope, nope. This triplicator has only half the vital. Oh, they got to go on the other part one. But first, music and dance. <laughs> Brother Rimmer is portraying agony. <laughs> <laughs> the searches out the truth. The truth danced by Brother Cat. Oh God. <laughs> this is oh god it's funny but it's like oh god no it flicks like a firefly through the cold night i feel like they need to pay attention to what they're saying because it might come in and handy in torment searches forever <laughs> <His face. laughs> i'm receiving a weak but plaintive distress call from a ship which appears to be identical to our own then we must help them with haste brothers Oh god, I th oh no. I can't remember what these ones are like. This is so bizarre. But it's so fun. They they're so creative for what they can they do. Like they don't care about it like be 100% making sense. Yeah, this looks like the dirty Keep one. And peel, guys. God see, it looks really good. Like the way they've got it combined together I've been two lots of each actor. It was really well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he's a hologram that hurt himself. Welcome, brothers. We bring food and medical Shut supplies. Shut up, Crichton. Poor devil. His gun must have gone up accidentally. Oh, dear Welcome, Lord. My oh, Crichton, no. <laughs> peace to sing you healing hymns. Crichton's... Oh, Crichton. Poor wretch. There's a faulty gun. No, he does not. Oh, how I love him. Brother... <laughs> There is no! Keep us shooting people. You see? There it goes again. <laughs> oh, cat, no! Sparkling, welcome all. Oh, well, they're oh, both gone. Remember, Lister, run. Oh, oh, it's yep. exquisite, divine. What does it say to you, brother? Well, I think they're dead. <laughs> okay, he looks pretty cool, though. Looks terrible, but pretty fun they're so creative with this oh, oh. 
Ah, oh, I want Cat to see that one. I really do. Oh God, and he's got the long teeth. I really want Cat to see himself like that. Be hilarious. Crichton. Oh, why do I feel like Crichton's going to burst his hand through? Yeah, I just had that feeling. Oh God, it still made me jump though. What's he going to look like? Let me have a look. <laughs> Oh, I love this show. And like the the camera's set work is so good. You need to per pick up a weapon and find the staff. Rimmer. Oh god, it's gonna be alternate rimmer. I wanna see alternate rimmer. Rimmer. Looking for someone? Oh god. Hello, my pretty. <laughs> Hell yeah, Chris Barry! I want to hurt you. <laughs> because I'm not a very nice person. Hell yeah! Hollow wet, right? I'm going to lash you to within an inch of your life, and then... He's so good. I'm going to have you. Oh, Chris Barry is so good. <laughs> I like how even the H is wonky. Perhaps I should go with Brother Cat. You haven't got a weapon. We have no need of weapons, feline brother. We wear protective herbs. I'm going with butt brain. Yes, you, please. Thank you, friend. I really want them to see their versions of each other. This is so fun. It is ready. Oh, is wicked. Wait. Oh, no! Mm -hmm. Can you feel the people as they burrow into your Oh, God, no! You guys that laugh is hilarious. Short of an allotment. <laughs> and here is how we're going to get it. Don't tell them. Oh, they're in control of him now because of that, aren't they? He applauds our efforts. Maybe he'd like to go for a little walk. Game over now, eh? Game over. I wonder what's in that supply. At least he'd be able to tell them it's not him, you know? Oh, no. Oh no! Ah! You can tell they have so much fun with this episode. No. I wonder if he'd, he'd like a drink to, to calm him down. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh god! Oh! You guys have got to be young. No! Oh god, no! <laughs> No, no, bon no, 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 <laughs> it's not a real one, it's not a real one. He's cruel, he's selfish, he thinks terrible. They're having so much fun, aren't they? Ah, uh, but he, he kills, I'm not capable of that. <sighs> he'll soon... No, because he'll be able to verbal, he'll be able to tell them, uh, or not. But wouldn't they see the stuff over his, his mouth? Cinema hot dogs. <laughs> oh, oh, sweaty kebabs with stringy brown letters coming out. Oh, oh God, no. Karaoke crazy. <laughs> Peter Perfect plays tuneful tunes for elderly ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, here it is. No, clearly they have no idea as to its purpose. How long do we have? Or they had it there as a trap for them. Oh, what's going to happen with Lister? He's going to kill the two of them, isn't he? How much my heart glimmers like a newborn star when I gaze upon thine beauteous countenance. Thy love refreshes and cleanses me like a babbling mountain stream, brother. How many takes did that take? You think they'd probably piss themselves laughing. Is yonder your likeness, brother. <laughs> they must have pissed themselves laughing with this one. How many outtakes will there be for this? Forgive me, brother. I appear to have stained thy knife end with my blood. Really? Brother, permit me to furnish you with a fresh knife. You just get the bee. Farewell, brother. My brook is babbled. Your brook is babbled. Oh my god. <laughs> can like oh no, he can't, can he? Shit. I found Goldpool's head. No sign of Dormouse cheeks though. Dormouse cheeks. 
We were ambushed by a platoon of Lowe's. I was leading a valiant rearguard action. Really? I found him shivering in a box. <laughs> hey, there he is. What took you so long, buddy? What? Look out! I'm going to kill you! I'm a homicidal maniac! My body's being remote controlled! At least he can tell them that. That's good. Crichton, look out! Oh, Crichton! Get out the back of his neck! Tell them about the back of your neck! He's a homicidal maniac. Put him down. There must be some other way. You've got to incapacitate me somehow. Tell him about the back of your neck. Incapacitate me in a painless way. What? <laughs> Need him in the groin? Unnecessary. Unnecessary? Look what you've done to my neckline. Yeah. This stuff never springs back. You wear this collar. Oh, my God. I think I'm going for the bazookoid. Duck! Oh, this bit from the credits. Someone get behind me! I, I'm gonna come round behind you now, sir. Okay, Crichton, take me by surprise! Right, I'm coming round behind you to take you by surprise, sir. Get on with it, surprise me! Take him by surprise! Surprise me now! Here comes my surprise, sir! Here comes my surprise! <laughs> I love this show, it's so creative. Flip battery! Who let the lights on? No, it's the magnetic coils, they've depolarized. It's as if the decay on this ship is in some way contagious. Shit! Try the backup. No, 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 come on, come on. Yep, all systems check. Oh, shirt balls. Oh, no. Not again. What's me a scary? No. Oh, wait, I think I've located the spinal implant. Yeah. Oh, God. It's in his neck. Go at it with an axe now. Come on, are we getting Red Dwarf back? Give me Red Dwarf. Come on. There we go. I was worried we'd completely lose it. There she is. Holly's back. Mr. Lister, wake up, sir. It's over. We're safe now. Is he all right? Sorry, it wasn't my fault. When would you get one of them things and you just got kind of... <laughs> sir, what's wrong? I think he just sat in the spinal implant. But it doesn't make sense. Who's controlling him? Oh, he, how did he survive? Uh, uh, wait a minute. Just give me one week. That's all I ask. One week? <laughs> Boy, this is going to be fun. Oh, you... Why am I not surprised? Like, where's my mouse? Ah! My mouse has been a pain in your ass. Ah, oh, I needed that. That like that was another classic. I'm still annoyed that I've got demons and angels the wrong way round. But you guys got what I meant. But they are so freaking creative in this show. So creative for what they do. And just the cast are phenomenal. I bet they had a whale of a time filming this one. This like I can't wait to see, watch the smeg ups. I really can't wait to watch the smeg ups because I bet they're going to be absolutely freaking hilarious. I, I'm probably going to laugh my head off. I've just got this feeling. Like, I just feel like like when they were like talk, like complimenting each other, like Lister and Rimmer, like the nice versions, I just bet they kept laughing their heads off. I can only imagine. Oh, God, that was so funny. Like. Like, it kind of made sense, but it didn't quite, but they don't really care too much about that. Like, they make up their own terms and things like that, but it works, because they're so done convincingly. But it's believable. And they're just so freaking funny, and oh my god, Chris Barry in that outfit. Does he sing? Because he could play Frankenfurter. That would be amazing. To see him as Frankenfurter. <laughs> that was so fun. I wish I'd seen they showed us Kat's reaction to the bad version of him. Like we saw his reaction about sandals and stuff like that with the good one. I wanted to see his reaction to the bad one. That would have been so funny. Or Rimmer's version um, reaction to the bad one. That was so. That's another classic. Like now. I very distinctly remember having watched that. Now I remember. It's just off the top of my head. I, I couldn't get it. Maybe that's because I got the name wrong. Like I told you that I tried multiple times to get it right and I still got it the wrong way round. But then again, it's the, my head's just all over the place. Ay, ay, ay. It's, oh dear. 
<laughs> one of those days, but I needed that. I needed some Red Dwarf. It's one of those things, like if you're feeling down, low, not well or whatever, put on Red Dwarf. Always perks you up. It's so funny. It's so funny and so clever and so well done. Like when they had both them all come, like boarding the bad ship and like it had some of them going that way, some of them like going the other way. They were look. It looked like they were all there. It was, like, it was put together so well. You couldn't like see like certain ones of them like standing out more than the others. It was perfectly done. Like for its age, it's so well done. So well done. But next week, I believe. Is one I'm, I've been looking forward to, since starting doing this. I am so excited for next week. Okay, finale. We've got multiple other episodes after that, but it's an episode. Like I saw the title on the DVD and I was like, oh, 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 oh I know that one. I'm so excited for that. An absolute classic, and I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I'm so excited. But um, I'd love to know what you guys thought of this episode. If there were things I missed. Let me know. Things like that. But yeah, I'd love to know what you guys thought. If you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again for the next one. Bye.